Hello and welcome to this video on AI Assistant. Things in the machine translation industry have changed with the introduction of large language models. The latest wave of machine translation innovation is happening right now. This machine not only knows human language perfectly, but it also allows you to provide the context of your project, and that is the biggest change. You can provide this context with human language, no need to retrain the neural network model to fine-tune the translation results. And because LLM knows human language, it can perform a wide variety of tasks on your texts, not only translation. This video will show you how to fine-tune your Crowdence AI Assistant so it's most useful for your projects. As always, we start by installing the application. I assume you already have either Crowden.com or Crowden Enterprise account. To install the app, go to the Crowden store and search for AI Assistant. Then click Install. The application is now available in your Projects Tools section. Let's see what we have there. First of all, let me introduce you to the application's features. This application can serve as an empty engine in Crowden. It can also be used by translators as a co-pilot assistant. That means it can perform some segment-level tasks while translators are doing their work, not necessarily translation tasks. But before we can use our AI assistant, we need to go to the machine translation section and add a machine translation engine. Click Custom Integration, select AI Assistant, give your engine a name, and click Create. Now let's go back to our configurations. You as a manager can do different configurations here. The first one is the prompt engineering for pre-translation tasks. Customize the prompt to provide context or instructions that will be used every time Crowder needs to translate a segment using the AI Assistant. For demo purposes, let's say I want all my translations to be uppercase. Pre-translation can be done from your project page. This prompt will also be used every time Crowden has to provide a translation suggestion in the translation editor. Second is the prompt engineering for the actual translation assistant. The assistant lives in the translation editor, right here. When you start configuring the assistant, the first thing you'll want to do is select who will do the prompt engineering. Either you, as a manager, will configure it for translators, or translators can create their own prompts. Pre-configuring actions to be used by your translators is usually a good idea, since you know best what tasks need to be done in your project and how they need to be done. For example, you may want to create an action for the AI chatbot to provide creative translations when you are translating advertisements or you may want to instruct them how to handle tags in your specific way. To create a new action, just click the plus button, give the action a name, and specify a prompt. Let's say I want an action that provides five translations every time I call it. I do not provide a lot of contextual information in my prompt, as you can see. This is because context is provided in another part of the configuration. I can provide general instructions about my project by clicking the context message button. In order to create your best prompts, I recommend reviewing the help message below and experimenting. You may have noticed a permanent column. Well, permanent actions are the ones that show up below every response. This is a quick way for you to request additional work from the machine for each response. You might have actions like make the translation shorter or rephrase or make it SEO friendly. Let me quickly add a permanent action. All right, let's check my pre-translation prompt and my actions. Let's go to the editor. And yes, I now have a suggestion from the AI Assistant. Let's open an AI Assistant window. As you can see, my action is also there. Let's see what happens when I click on it. Here are five translations I have asked for. What if I want to rephrase them? Okay, that works too. 
That's all for today. Again, I encourage you to experiment with the tool to learn its best capabilities and make it useful for your project. Be sure to contact our 24-7 technical support team if you need help or have any questions. There are still more to come.